today we will be going over the Nexus system, this will be another long one so be prepared. Introduction The Nexus system is a single star planetary system in the United Empire of Earth. It is located at a strategically important junction of jump points, Nexus was a colloquial name for the system first used in the 28th century in reference to its role connecting lawless systems. When the UEE reclaimed the system in 2931, government officials began an initiative to use the system's older name, Hathor, as an attempt to erase its associations with pirates. However, the name was too embedded in the Empire's lexicon to be changed, and the effort was almost universally mocked. Eventually the UEE conceded and officially adopted the system's name as Nexus. In fact, its name has always been a strong indication of the current condition of the system. Many believe the history of Nexus can be best understood through the various names it bore over the ages. History Nexus was discovered on March 9, 2445, by Dominic Thapa, a un-Navy pilot probing the then military classified Cathcart system for new jump points. It was the military that assigned the system its first name UDS-2445-3-09. Pathfinders entered the system shortly thereafter to find a bluish-white A-type main sequence star, five planets, and a mineral-rich asteroid belt. The UN's first assessment of the system saw potential, but also a problem. The problem was that Nexus could only be accessed through Cathcart which was a restricted military system at the time. Rather than risk opening Cathcart to civilian traffic, the military initially tried to make use of the system themselves terraforming Nexus 4 and even experimenting with Smog Planet terraforming on Nexus 2. Unfortunately, around this time the government started facing a significant budget shortfall, and the expensive development of Nexus was quickly placed on the chopping block. The military still did not want to allow access to Cathcart, so a compromise was settled upon. By allowing limited access to a single corporation, strict control could still be maintained, so the unsold Nexus mining rights to the Hather Group for a considerable sum, which was immediately used to help fill the budget gap. Some historians believe the decision helped the ruling Universalist Party maintain their majority in the close elections of 2468. The Hather Group The Hather Group purchased all mining rights to the Nexus system in January of 2468. It was an unprecedented deal that centuries later would be the inspiration for the UEE to do something similar in the Stanton system. The subsequent lack of government and public oversight allowed the Hather Group to run the system as they saw fit. The company's control was so ubiquitous that astronomical charts from the 26th century referred to it as the Hather system. While Hather was in charge, few laws were enforced. The military presence in neighboring Cathcart had dwindled as that system was converted into a dumping ground, and as long as minerals were mined, and profits made. The Hather Group didn't care what their employees and contractors did outside of work. Nexus became known for gambling, rampant violence, and innumerable illicit activities. Crime became the system's only viable economic engine outside of mining. Illegal activity only intensified with the subsequent discovery of three additional jump points and increased traffic from neighboring unclaimed systems. Gangs began to stalk the flight paths between the jump points and planets, preying on any ship they found. That, combined with the Hather Group's stranglehold on the system, dissuaded most people from visiting and most businesses from setting up operations. Meanwhile, the Hather Group continued to rip resources out of Nexus 3, Nexus 4, and the Elsebra Belt until the profit margin began to dip below their ballooning security budget. The Hather Group officially abandoned the system in 2672, leaving behind an inhospitable wasteland, 
scarred by centuries of mining and lacking basic civilian infrastructure. It should come as no surprise what happened next. The Crossroads of Crime After the Hathor group left, the strip mine surface of Lagos provided perfect cover for criminal packs to move into the system and establish operations. The system's population swelled and led some to believe it could challenge Spider as the center of the underworld. It was during this era that the name Nexus was first used to describe its role as a criminal system hub, earning it an additional tag, the crossroads of crime. For decades, the UEE allocated minimal resources to curb the system's illegal activity. Then in 2931, when Dean Keller's infamous and eponymous run spilled into the Nexus system, UEE authorities attempted to reassert control. They were shocked to realize that not only did the criminal element refuse to back down, but that they didn't hesitate to open fire at law enforcement. Once Keller's run finally ended, this defiance spurred the UEE to pass a motion to reclaim Nexus and strategically break up the problem-riddled cluster of lawless systems. The UEE has since instituted a basic infrastructure in Nexus, including establishing a military and advocacy presence, but conditions in the system are best described as risky. Shipping lanes are mostly secure and even businesses that avoided the system for centuries have started to establish operations. However, entrepreneurial haulers should take note, although the UEE has made progress in the system, the battle for control of Nexus is still ongoing. While the UEE has managed to uproot the entrenched criminal elements on Nexus 3, doing so on Nexus 4 has not been nearly as easy or successful.